Hello and welcome to Rise. I'm Bill. You know me either as Skippy or Reyna. Um, Skippy if I'm doing things that are testing stuff and Reyna if I'm actually playing the game as myself. You'll notice I am in the apartment where you just started. I have reset the help, but this is not a walkthrough step-by-step -step to get you going. This is things that you really need to do that aren't actually always covered in the tutorial. For God's sake, please read the tutorial messages. We literally have spent hundreds of dollars having people do the tutorials on Twitch so we can improve it, get them better, and do each step so that you can walk through and get you earning money. I'm going to dismiss the tutorial because we're not doing that. I'm going to hit some things that you may or may not know about. In the configuration, which is these gears down here, you can magnify, minify, which just makes the fonts larger for all these other windows. I have it set up. I am not restoring my layout because I actually have dragged my stuff from the position yours started to the positions I like. Some of the other people like different layouts. It's all personal preference and you can move each one of these windows where you want them to be. I like them here because I think they're out of the way while I'm flying. In the controls, you'll notice that there are everything from pitch and so on and as you move the control it shows you what inputs you're changing so you can actually figure out what you want to set where and how you also notice that I have three different devices I have the eight the x56 stick the x56 throttle and a Logitech Dual Action, which is a gamepad made by Logitech. It's actually the F310, and I use that for driving. That's left over from when I used to play a Formula One racing game. That's how I set it up there. That's how I like it. That's why you're going to see my settings different than everybody else's. I'm in the bedroom, and I want to get in my car. Yes, I am skipping the tutorial. There's the window you've probably looked out of. When you looked out of it, you got a message telling you that you are 250 light years from Earth. That is the city of Dios. Now we're going to walk towards the exit of the apartment. Through the kitchen. To the door and I want to get in my car. Power it on by pressing P. And now inside the car. That screen right there, the big one that says Davin Technologies. If you press the E, it goes page down um, to the cargo manifest, to the intermediate menu, if there's any intermediate menu pop-ups to the scanning, to a diagnostic page, and then back around. And if you press the M, it goes the opposite direction through the same selections. That right there is the mini-map. And to that right there where it says waypoint, and 6 degrees, um, 1.68 kilometers, is where the the waypoint I have set is selected. Now I'm going to zip down here to Xana Zooms because that's going to be where you end up going first. Dio Xana Zoom, it's a taxi fare. Okay. Now you'll notice that it says the waypoint is 45 degrees with an arrow pointing to my right. That means it is off somewhere about there and 2.7 10 kilometers away. My current position is south, 4.19 or 2 degrees, west, 26.076, 
the local time in the city of Dios is 8.05 a.m. My car is facing approximately east and the outside temperature is 19.7 degrees. Your car probably did not come with a radio. You can buy that at Rusty's, which is a waypoint you have. Uh, let's see. Rusty's Rentals. Dios Rusty's Rentals. That's a waypoint you have. That's where you rent things. Your odometer probably reads zero. Obviously, I have driven this car a fair amount. Your gas gauge started at full. Um, I've obviously filled my car several times. I'm going to press the joystick, which I have mapped the star key, three times. So it goes reverse, neutral, first. If I press it two more times, I get into third gear. Turn my steering wheel to the left. Yes, I know I'm going away from it. I just know that the road to Zana Zooms is... Ah. Yes, I'm hitting six-inch curbs. You'll notice that the curbs line up with the edges of the pavement. Those six-inch curbs... Imagine hitting a curb in your poor little car at, um, well, right now I'm going 120 kilometers per hour. 140. You hit that, you are going to take damage. I can tell you this because when I taught my son to drive, years ago, he hit a curb doing 45 miles an hour and blew out two 30-inch mud tires while learning to drive the first day we were driving. That was an expensive ouch for us. No, you do not have to drive on the grass. No, you do not have to drive on the street. You can drive on the mud, the grass, whatever. Just know that you will travel a little bit slower, as you can see there. The car is empty and I'm not quite able to hit the 140 I was before because I'm driving through mud. Roads, you go faster, but they don't go straight. They go where they want to go. Uh, where you uh, go no. Okay. And notice my health is now 77. So right now I should press Shift R because I've hit so many curbs, which is repair. You can repair whenever you want, as often as you want, as often as you need. Right now there is no money penalty or time penalty or anything. Let's get to Xana Zooms. Okay, and uh, curbside taxi. I have a fare to Dios Airport taxi stand, Port District. Okay. I know where that is, but I'll show you what you'd probably need to do. You'd probably need to go to the waypoint manager right here and look for Dios Airport Taxi Stand. You can either double click the location, which activates it, or you can click the um, activate button, which looks like a bullseye, a target. to turn too early. I was going to the parking lot versus the taxi stand. Okay, now I click on curbside taxi and I've unloaded my passenger. If you take a look here, it says I now have 25 credits because I got paid for that passenger. If I want to pick up a new curbside taxi, he wants to go to the UI tower. Okay. You see that it says I have a fare to the UI building financial district. And if I read where it says stowage, that's inside the ship. I have a 102 kilo passenger. He's ticketed. There's one of them and he's going to the UI building. So I go over to here to waypoint manager. I scroll down. 
two UI building activate it it says it's 77 degrees to my left and 3.68 kilometers away okay we do not hit the parked car with it's some jerk left in the middle of the road uh, if I wanted to I could come back here with a T120 which is a truck rental which um, I think rents for $200 a day or something 200 credits a day and pick that car up and drag it back to the apartment and I'd earn 50 credits for cleaning up the streets now that's the next step that you typically want to do because it's pretty usually a good return on the investment for the um, T120 and actually very simple because there are people who will play this game and realize that they cannot uh, read the tutorial uh, and if you can't read the tutorial or will not read the tutorial uh, think you uh, know better because you don't need to read uh, the tutorial uh, then you will not succeed in this game because this is a very realistic uh, realistic game uh, as far as uh, how you damage yourself, how you kill yourself, how all those sort of things. We spent days working on the maths as far as the damage and aerodynamic heating, re-entry, so on and so forth. Yes, you can get a spaceship. Yes, you will eventually get an airplane if you stick around long enough because you need to earn money ah. to get the truck, to get the airplane, to get the spaceship. I'm going to zoom that map out a little bit so I can see it better. Um, you do that with the um, open bracket and close brackets. straight. There's the road I wanted. Uh, I'll take uh, me most uh, of the way to the... Uh, stay between the lanes, Bill. Stay in the lanes. No, I did not lay out the streets. First, the guy who ah. laid the streets out because I think he was sadistic. If I had laid the streets out, there'd be many more straight lines running completely across ah. the city. Okay. Now, I'm going to drop off my taxi fare. If you take a look, it says I still have that one passenger in my st in stowage. I click the curbside taxi, he gets out and gives me 50 credits. I'm going to hop in the simulator bay with you so you know what's going on. You'll notice we are... Let's press F5 and get rid of the roof. Right there is the UI building. We want to go inside the UI building to the simulator bay. Okay, let's hop in the T19 simulator. Synchronizing onboard computer with portable device. Okay, welcome to the T19 simulator. You can exit the simulator, reposition to the runway, reposition to final. You can use the simulator for free 24 hours a day if you want. This is a single in. I'm sorry, this is a single pods aircraft, which means it has one cargo bay that will hold 20 passengers or 19 tons, sorry, 17 tons of cargo. Bank angle. 
He's got Bank retractable angle. landing gear. Bank angle. Gear up. And if you press the Shift 9 and Shift 8 keys, you can extend and retract the flaps to make it so it's easier to land. You'll notice that the graphics are not as clean as they were outside because this is supposed Don't to sink. be Don't sink. a projection. I messed that up. There we go. Don't sink. Don't sink. Turn the auto flight on and you'll notice it says um, AF and it's in pitch and roll mode. I'm going to change that to... Did I blew that again. I turned it off. Let's change it to MSL mode, so that the aircraft tries to hold this altitude. If I turn the cockpit off... I can't do that inside the simulator, that's right. You can't turn off the cockpit in the simulator, because it's just a simulator. Retract the flaps. But if you take a look, it is nowhere near as clear inside the simulator as it was outside the simulator. Let's exit to the simulator bay. Okay. Next thing I want to cover is getting to the bank to deposit your money. Because if you die with money, you lose the money. If you die with a passenger, you kill the passenger. If you have cargo and you die, you lose the cargo also. So let's go to the bank. See that building that says fleet over there? That is the fleet bank. And I'm just going to drive straight there. Because I want to keep this as short as possible. Okay, when you click on Teller Functions, as a new player, you will have a top line here that says Open Account. I already have an account, so I can't open an account because I already have an account. But I can deposit the 50 credits I have in my hot little hand. You see we're on the MFD where it now has intermediate proximity. I type 50, and magically, I deposited 50 credits in my Fleet Bank account. Between this and the tutorial, if you thought you knew what you were doing, I beg you to go back to configuration, interface, reset game help, and start the tutorial over, please. It really does have enough to get you started. And once you've gotten to the point where you're no longer driving the taxi and you're flying planes, there isn't a tutorial there, but we'll gladly help you however you need. <laughs>